Pre-assembled knife lock sets can be expensive and are often full of knives you'll never use. Here in the test kitchen, we recommend assembling your own knife set. And when you finally do build your blade collection, you're gonna need a place to store them. So Adam's here with a solution. Three magic yeah. words for you, Julia. Universal knife block. Nice. You need a knife block that you can put any assortment of knives into. We have 10 different models here. The price ranged from a low of about $25 to a high of almost $250. Ooh. Testers use them with the America's Test Kitchen a la carte knife set. You can go on the website to learn more about that. There are two versions, the Best Buy and the Winning. They were looking for safety, durability. Testers were looking for design and ease of cleanup. I'm looking at appearance. Some of these are a little prettier than others. Some of these, this is a little mid-century, don't you it's think? It's beautiful. <laughs> this is one of the first group, which is in front of us. These four held the knives in place either by bristles, like this guy and the one next to it, or by folds of plastic, like that, or by an open grid system, like this. Remember I said testers were looking for durability? Mm -hmm. Not so much on this group. These bristles tended to shed or get bent. The folds of plastic in here got all nicked up and cut up through the course of testing. And this guy, the mid-century sculptor, got all chipped during the course of testing. Also, you can see that there was a safety issue with some of these guys. The blade sticks way out there. That's not safe. Once you get this loaded up with the entire a la carte knife set, it gets a little sort of top heavy. It's not that stable here. Ah. So if you go quickly to grab a knife off, you could knock the whole thing over by accident. Testers were much more impressed with knife blocks that had wider bases with a non-slip material on the bottom so they wouldn't fall over. Let's walk down here and talk about our second set. These all hold the knives in place by magnets. You want the magnets to be strong enough to hold the knives in place securely, but not so strong that you have to struggle to take a knife off the block. Good point. Try that one. All right. Give that a shot. Just take Goodness. One, one hand, Julia. Goodness. <laughs> that needed a little bit of muscle. So. Exactly. I mean, you need a real tug. That's like pulling the sword out of the stone. <laughs> and you don't want to always have to use two hands. This one, on the other hand, try that one. I'm going to do it one-handed. Ah. There you go. So the Very knives easy. were secure, but they were easy to get off. This one also had great magnet coverage. That meant that you could put a knife anywhere on it and it would stick there with no problem. You didn't have to go searching around for sort of a magnetic hotspot. This, in fact, was our winning universal knife block. This is the Design Trifecta 360. It's on a little Lazy oh, Susan like base. That. It spins around, so it's easy to get knives from any piece of it. It's got great coverage in terms of the magnets. They're the perfect strength. It was durable. It was easy to clean. It's heavy. It weighs 14 pounds, so it's not going anywhere. This was, however, the most expensive block in the test, $248.64. But it'll look good on your counter. It looks great. It's the last universal knife block you'll ever have to buy, we think. If you don't want to spend that much money, there's a best buy. This one is the Schmidt Brothers Midtown Knife Block. A lot more reasonable at $68. It had good magnetic coverage. They were the right strength. It's a little bit smaller. It wasn't quite as easy to use as the overall winner because of these plastic sheaths. It also wasn't quite as easy to clean, but you save so much money that we were willing to overlook those. Well, I guess this is one time where spending a little extra does buy you better design. So our winner is the Design Trifecta 360 knife block for about $248. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.